Peace and blessings, Aquarius. This is Ascension Empress with your bonus reading. What is coming towards you? That's what we're going to look at. Um, I've already been picking up on messages. And it's like a lot of regret um, and disappointment. Someone was confused. Um, Y'all... <laughs> Someone regrets trying to make an empress jealous or, you know, putting an empress in competition. It was like a lot of that five of wands energy um, and it's coming back to reconcile. OK, so somebody could be coming towards you or you could be coming towards somebody else. Um, I'm picking up on mother energy or this could be someone reconciled. Oh, here we go. I was going to say reconciling with their mother um, or the divine feminine within themselves. All right. But I also get this energy of if it is you know, a scenario of someone who is trying to come back and re I, I got a masculine energy who's trying to reconcile um, with who they see to be an empress or, you know, the empress to them being an emperor. Y'all, this person seems to be done. Okay. This person seems to be releasing this. Um, but there's also the energy of, you know, just not holding grudges, not letting, not harboring the energy. There's truth, there's clarity, there's communication here. Okay, so we don't see, but it was some energy around someone trying to put someone in competition or there's envy. Um, and that's part of the reason why, because someone, okay, wow. Somebody could have been trying to make someone jealous by speaking of someone else to another feminine energy. Um, I'm getting multiple. Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody was out here being toxic, trying to play with people's head. Um, and I'm here also being used. <sighs> being to Look, see, and that's so interesting, y'all, because I don't know it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not, okay? Because, one, this seems to come out a lot when it comes to um, Aquarius readings for a while now. Um, but also, right before I started this reading, this was the first card. Before I could even finish a full sentence, right, this was the first card, right? And it's so interesting how some people want, you know, me, me to speak in full sentences and not wow and react and, you know, let y'all follow your intuition but here again confirmation there is a lot of this coming up y'all with the virgo full moon okay so you know are you going to take a look at what has been holding you back codependencies self sabotage right and also karmic cycles Car look there is something that is come is going to become very clear or is going to be made very clear here with the ace of swords this is a lot of lack of clarity a lot of blind mm -hmm, let's go ahead and get right into it all right so peace and blessings y'all take it out resonate um also beware of you or someone else coming in here or yeah come mm -hmm. as soon as i said coming in somebody may be trying to trap somebody and i feel like Yep, here okay, somebody could be dealing with the Capricorn. I got that channel message with Capricorn, y'all. And I was gonna do their reading in Spirit said Aquarius, y'all. So Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This energy overall, somebody may be trying to present it as I want to commit. I want to, uh, someone's trying to tell somebody what they want to hear, but not this one. <laughs> this one is very aware and could be playing the fool. Or just be acting like, yeah, uh-huh, here, be acting like, exactly. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and I am picking up on um, melanated energy. Very, very strong here. And, wow. Someone is trying to tell somebody about themselves. And I'm hearing... Okay, so Sagittarius got that message of who do you think you are. But in this in instance, I feel like there's like some racism involved here. Okay, with the devil energy in this Ace of Swords, but there's cl there's truth, clarity, there's this intelligence. Yeah, because she, look, um, I'm feeling this person is educated or um, can solve problems or something going on here um, with this King of Pentacles. And this is about to be communicated or someone's very gifted when it comes to communication or publishing something. It, mm, four of Cups here. Ace of Cups, what's going on, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? I feel like now that someone's not interested or someone's pulling their energy back, love is coming in. And it's probably been a, like, yeah, because now this feminine energy, she stepped into this wands, like this excitement, this independence, this creative energy, while there's a masculine who may have been trying to, okay, may have been trying to do something here. Yeah, plan or, yeah, someone is 
it's like there's one with some questionable intent and then there's another masculine who who genuinely is trying to go about this the right way, right? Here with this king of, I feel like, yeah, this is king of pentacles energy, very strong, all right? What advice do you have? Holy Spirit, holy angels, what advice do you have? I also see collaboration plans together moving forward. Look, I told you, y'all, look at that, right? Someone regrets being in this energy, being in this Knight of Wands energy. That's what it is. They feel like it slowed this down. And now that this Empress has come to this realization and, you know, maybe even me being, I'm here, yeah, being more dis, okay, I'm here direct and discreet. Okay, wow. Yeah, someone just doesn't seem interested anymore. Communication is off, I hear. Yep. Oh, we that don't mean she ain't being productive, honey. Okay, eight of put. Oh, I was gonna say eight of pinnacles, eight of cups, seven. Yeah, see, there's definitely some betrayal because of some confusion, but also now there's confusion about coming forth because of you know the separation in this, this karmic cycle. Someone has. That's this I'm done energy that I was picking up on, y'all. The Eight of Cups. Someone's moving towards not only the Eight of Cups, but the Nine of Pentacles, right? Or I mean the Nine of Cups, yeah. So I do feel like a masculine energy is coming out of the Seven of Cups moving to the Eight of Cups. And this feminine is like, I'm moving from the Eight to the Nine. Like, I'm like, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. To the Ten. Okay. She said, let me just go ahead and take a leap. That's that faith energy. That's that fool card I've been picking up on. So there, it, no one said it didn't hurt, right? Or whatever was said or other communication could be causing, yeah, look, see? Someone's making peace with what they don't know as well. Even though somebody still may be trying to come in and not say everything, someone's still moving forward towards what they want. I'm hearing towards stability, towards trust. I'm hearing a real foundation here. Look at that. A legacy. The magician card and the moon, y'all. There's definitely some secrets. Somebody's trying to figure out how can I manifest this without, you know, really delving into this devil energy, right? What held up this connection? What slowed this down? Look, and I'm telling you, this tower is I told you about this faith and fool energy. That, look, this person realizing they're running. They're realizing they're answering the call. They're trying to. They're hoping it's not too late. Somebody, look, and God, oh, we got angels all of them over here like, okay, right? But there go that tower. It's something around Taurus season. There's going to be a huge shift around Taurus season. Especially when it comes to what's beneath the surface or some type of manipulation or interest. Because, yeah, somebody may have felt alone or bored or not seen or rejected. This is also ghosting energy, okay? So take it how it resonates because, you know, I don't know. I, I see a feminine energy over here protecting her peace and not stressing about it. Yes, Somebody was in the Three of Swords, right? But there's a huge change happening. Oh, honey, okay? That's what I'm talking about. A huge change, especially by Leo season, Spirit is saying. So these fixed signs is a sign for somebody, right? Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. This higher fine beliefs, a change in beliefs, values, a test, a a sudden change when it comes to commitment, when it comes to building, when it comes to how you see. Yeah, I'm also picking up on um, income, the fruits of someone's labor, like great reward is coming in here, especially for a feminine energy about to give birth, right? And so that could be another reason why, you know, this masculine energy who I'm picking up a Knight of Cups, okay, with the Seven of Swords who's trying to come in and maybe trying to communicate now that this Empress is at peace or, you know, doing her own thing and minding hers here, right? But it says the prophetess of true power. I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. Someone is not allowing something to, you know, distract them or you know also look four cups four swords like yes someone is protecting their energy going forward i feel like god is protecting someone here yes very very much so okay yeah the essence of all buddhas 
Okay, worthy of being protected is what I'm hearing. Look, I have the power, power. Y'all, it says, I call my power back from all times and all places. I am my own. I'm definitely speaking to someone with other fixed energy, okay? Leo and Scorpio especially is what I'm picking up on, all right? But also calling back that power of what you've probably been repressing, okay? Suppressing for a while now. It's coming to surface with the Scorpio energy it's an ending oh i didn't see this y'all it's an ending and a new we oh my gosh y'all look at this look at this it's an ending it's a new beginning right it's this death and this rebirth this high priestess energy calling your power back the power the gift okay many of y'all the power of intuition right like I talked about the legacy here with the Ten of Pentacles. Many of y'all are tapping into your past life gift, all right? Your energy, your records here, right? This is, oh y'all, wow. It says, I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. And it looked like it. So this is also revelation here for many of y'all. You're coming into this awareness like, wait a minute, you're awakening to who you are, right? You, somebody, yes, just in time. Just in time, somebody is when it comes to answering this call. And, you know, it could have been some confusion. It could have been some distraction, some temptation, right? Sometimes it is, it's external to us. It's internal. Or it could be external energies that are, you know, pulling on our insecurities, pulling on our confusion, our weaknesses here and causing, you know, causing it to be, I'm hearing more pain for, more uncomfortable than it needs to be, right? But at the same time, it's like, what? What does it mean to what it needs to be, right? Some some of us, we just realize through these changes, through these, you know, it's, yeah, somebody got some strong Scorpio energy. That's all I got to say. Yeah, you got the two card and 13 here. Very, very strong. There's the karmic energy, karmic cycle coming to an end, all right? Your intuition is telling you. The goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth. To what exists within you look yeah you give birth to what exists within you right the hierophant the empress the high priestess what is what is it that you've been working on with this eight of pentacles i'm hearing each lifetime wow wow okay look the empress of protection Come on now, y'all, this is amazing you have spirit just say you have a lot of feminine energy around you a lot so again that conflict if it's not the input i'm hearing the um trying to make some empress jealous or you know putting in competition sometimes it's a conflict of our own divine feminine energy and spirit is saying you have a lot of protection a lot of support a lot of feminine i'm hearing advocacy around you okay man or woman this is powerful y'all right my heart is a compass the path of love is true abundance the empress of protection Okay, y'all are highly protected. This awakening may be very uncomfortable for somebody, right? But I feel like, yeah, if somebody's ancestor is saying believe. Believe here, right? Believe in this insight or these downloads or these dreams or these sharp, quick visions that you may be receiving here with, with this tower card, okay? It says, the patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers, power, my prayers create okay channels of of powerful possibilities yeah so somebody may not pray often right because I, I picked up on a lot of black blockages but then again here we go belief right the mother of believers i am spiritually and financially abundant i provide heaven and earth for myself and so spirit is take you know having someone take a look here i, I yeah i'm hearing with the next solar eclipse so that yeah that square hooey that square may affect someone's communication but it also may be testing oh yeah challenging someone to communicate to i'm hearing to an audience or take some type of stance here there's a platform there's there's a lot of communication y'all i'm starting to pick up on so many messages okay because you are stepping into this creative root chakra energy yeah look as soon as the light goes off so you're going to need that trust that root chakra you know i'm hearing cleansing there's a balance that needs to take place here okay because when that light goes off right again i'm hearing something around writer's block spirit is saying 
I love every inch of my body and I love the women in my life fiercely. Okay, so this connection with women in your life, the connection with um, the, I'm hearing an empress, okay, because that's very strong. Spirit is saying, what what is being communicated, right? What's being communicated? It's time to call back your power, right? You are miraculous. Your prayers create powerful channels of possibility, right? You are the goddess of all that flows, y'all. Someone is realizing that about themselves. You hear that? And it's going to be some forward movement. Mm -hmm. Look, see? Someone is tapping into their inner child. Someone is taking a look at their inner child and how something has manifested over time, where the blockage is. I hear a solution. I hear a solution. I hear patience. Mm-hmm. Ooh-wee. Somebody could be holding back their sexual energy. Yeah, because we've been talking about the root chakra. Okay. Somebody could definitely be holding back their sexual, but also their creative energy. Or I'm here when it, and it come yeah when it comes to a partnership, but someone is still going to give it time, some type of effort. But there's a different approach here, and there's definitely yeah Sagittarius energy so strong, Scorpio energy. But I'm just picking up you know however that plays out in your chart. You know that eighth house, that ninth house expansion, wisdom, higher learning, belief. Right, and then you got the subconscious, you got power, you got um, secrets, you got so much, <laughs> so much, right? Mm. But there's a definitely, um, I'm hearing lessons and learning, uh huh, a lot of learning, and I'm, I'm picking up a beginning stage when it comes to a connection, when it comes to partnerships, when it comes to a relationship, and if this isn't you, whoever, I'm hearing this empress is the one who is highly protected and highly surrounded by all of this empress energy. I mean, like, a lot of ancestral empress energy surrounds this empress. And that's why they may even be guiding, yeah, some of y'all are resonating. You are that empress. You are that high priestess who is tapping in, that calling back your power. You have to go through this death to re be reborn. So it is going to look a little new. You may be having to, you know, try some things out here. But yeah, okay, so there could be a connection. It's like, wow, is this too is it too good to be true? Like, it seems so powerful. It seems so divine. Spirit said, take another look or take a chance, right? What's the overall message? Very interesting, y'all. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's the overall message? Wow, Knight of Swords. Y'all are receiving communication from your guides. Y'all have been, I'm here, you already know. Mm -hmm. What fulfills you? Spirit said, pay attention to how you feel. I'm also hearing beware of, okay, yeah, I hear beware of what sounds too good to be true or take it how it resonates. Wishful thinking here, you got the nine of pentacles as well. Because I do see some independence, right? There is someone who's choosing to move forward independently, you know, single, but still in this very gracious, grateful energy. Spirit say you have every right to embrace that because someone has been, you know, probably in a connection in this three of swords or maybe third party cycle for so long. This may be a new approach. This may be a new approach. Okay. One more Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yep. See? Not familiar whatsoever. May even be uncomfortable. Maybe some insecurities, you know, having to go without and some things just don't feel the same, right? You may feel left out in the cold. But I'm hearing it's worth the sacrifice. Yeah, wow. Wow. Y'all are very attractive too, okay? You are somebody else. Very strong fire sign energy. So, Leo, I heard, okay. Yeah, okay, fire signs. <laughs> Fix signs as well. We gonna do a bonus reading. We gonna have to do some in cardinal. Woo wee! But I heard 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy very strong. Okay, so take it how it resonates, y'all. I love you. Thank you so much for the love and the support. If you would like a personal, that information is down below. Don't forget to take advantage of the coupon codes. And that's available, I believe, until March 20th. All right, so take care of you all. Bye.